Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 6, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another daily video from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we're going to start out here looking at the sun, looking at a nicely active sun. Those sunspots are quite spread apart, not very strong, but yes, definitely producing some normal energy that we should see on the sun it's kind of nice and it kind of looks like with those plasma ropes we might have some more incoming we shall see in the next couple days this is the last 24 hours it's not 48 hours sorry on the sun let's look at it in another light here thanks to solar dynamics observatory producing these images for us. That's right, these are illustrated images of photographs because the sun is round as well. It's funny, I released that video today on YouTube changing their policies and I got a bunch of trolls hitting up the, the comment section and the dislike section and that's fine. I even lost subscribers and it's most likely the flat earthers and I don't want flat earthers trolling my channel. Thank you very much. Let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes because it has been busy. We're going to start out here in North America as we had a 4.3 in California, San Clement Island, Southeast Tip. That's right, a 4.3. That's a pretty sizable earthquake for this region, San Andreas. But there's been a lot of earthquakes. So that's the kind of concerning thing, and that's what a lot of YouTubers are talking about. Geologists are a little bit worried here. This is what they would call an earthquake swarm, and it's happening all around a very large caldera. That's right, the Yellowstone caldera. There are many calderas in the Western Rockies and throughout this area, so stay aware and prepared because there's been action all over the place right now. Sizable 5.3 today in Chile, in Copago, Chile. 4.6 here in South Shetland Islands, south tip of South America, as well a 4.4 here off the coast of Central America. And then we move up to the Cascades into the Western Ring of Fire where we had a 5.0 in Russia. And then fours and fives and a large 5.5 here, which is a very deep one, 466 kilometer depth in Kulaman, Philippines, 5.5. That's a very deep earthquake. And we know what happens after deep earthquakes like that. Larger, shallower earthquakes. So that was a 5.5. We can probably get a seven out of this in the next 24 hours because around the world it just seems to be active everywhere on every plate especially when it comes to deep earthquakes let's get to the last seven days here not very active but all of the white rings are the most recent earthquakes showing so recently there's been a lot of action in north america earthquakes swarm the cascadia as well the San Andreas Fault. But when we look around here, there are some very deep earthquakes heading all around the Ring of Fire right now. So there is some major crustal movement. Tectonic plates are shifting drastically. And I believe our magnetic field is changing and shifting drastically. We are on the verge of a complete pull flip. And the only way that can happen is on a round earth. So please, flat earth trolls, just find another platform. That's all I can say. Busy last seven days for earthquakes. Let's get to weather. Brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. We're going to start over here in North America as we've had that large 
uh, downgraded tropical development pretty much, but it brought a hell of a lot of rain to Texas, Galveston, parts of Galveston, Texas, and Arkansas, moving up northeast towards the coastline. So massive downpour. Now watch for this low pressure system from the west to join forces with the one in the Gulf and head east and then produce another mass dumping of rain here on the southeastern United States. And they're already seeing flood warnings across the southeastern and central United States. So stay aware and prepared. Parts of Virginia, both Carolinas, and of course, Florida, New Orleans, all of the southeastern tip of the United States will be affected by all this rain. Quebec, still seeing some snow with that low pressure system coming from the pole. And cool temperatures prevailing over the next few days here in Calgary. It was really nice. It was really nice. But watch for some thunderstorms over the next couple days. As humidity levels were rising today. But things are set to cool off quickly overnight. Only 13 degrees Celsius tomorrow. But you can see still a lot of snow falling in Northwest Territories. Things are changing drastically. Jet streams are nutty. The Pacific Ocean looks very strange. It doesn't look the same anymore. And all these systems are just coming from different places now. Zero typhoons to talk about. Mass evaporation everywhere. Just looking at a lot of rain around the world. Watch for tropical development in the Sea of Yemen here. Indian Ocean. Over the next... Well, after a five day forecast, the seven day forecast shows this low pressure system developing and heading into the coastline as a downgraded cyclone. No Atlantic storms to talk about. Even if they did form, they'd hit Central and South America. But we do have a Pacific low developing here under Mexico as we're watching just daily mass evaporation. And when there's an intense low pressure around it, watch out folks. Mexico's seen some major atmospheric events. And then let's go to the Southern hemisphere and just looking at some crazy lows. And they're a lot bigger than last year. That's all I can say. They keep getting bigger and bigger. So watch for some of these storms to actually hit the tip of Australia the next couple days with some very strong winds. Parts of New Zealand as well will be feeling these strong lows in our southern hemisphere, spinning around the Antarctic. I tell you, I've never seen anything like it, guys. And that's what we're hearing a lot of, is that we haven't seen this before. Hasn't happened here before. But when we look at the disaster center, it is peppered with disasters around the world. Flooding, extreme storms, extreme heat, extreme cold. Look at all these flood warnings across the United States, Midwestern United States, Southeastern United States, Lake Charles, Louisiana. as well as Nevada, North Dakota. And we have some fires in Washington as well. And drought in parts of New Mexico. So just crazy events around the world. Please stay aware and prepare. God bless all of you for watching and tuning into Morning Dew every day. Much love to you all. And yeah, I guess this is a good way to weed out all the trolls that are on my channel because I know they're just flat earthers. And uh, yeah, I released that video today, instantly lost five subscribers. Um, that's okay by me. I was sharing actually a good message, which is to get rid of the lies that are on YouTube. Because it's about you. It's about you. It's about me. It's about our lives. It's about daily events worldwide. 
So thanks so much for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. Oh, one more thing. Let's just have a look at the latest disasters from around the world. And it looks like Popocatépetl in Mexico. Volcano. Let's look at volcanoes for the last few hours here. Sabancaya in Peru. Just updated. Reventador in Ecuador. As well as Dacono in Indonesia. And Fuego in Guatemala. Now, Fuego is a beautiful volcano, but a very vicious and big one. So stay aware and prepared. Thanks again. Much love to you all. God bless humanity. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family across the world.